And ABC7 business commentator Richard Stern is joining us now, and he's about to tell us that the stock market is just about as dull as our weather. Richard. <laughs> Haley, unfortunately, you're absolutely right. Dull, boring, summer doldrums, call it what you will. Uh, and on this dull, boring summer doldrums day, two record closes on Wall Street, although I confess that didn't take very much. The top to bottom range today was only 78 points. The Dow was up 56 points at its high and then down 22 points at the low. And we basically finished right where we started. Let's take a look at the numbers and uh, boring they would be. There you see the Dow up three and three quarters points, a whopping two one hundredths of one percent, closing at 18,533.05 on light volume of 577 million shares. Now here's record number one, the NASDAQ, the big mover of the day, up just over 12 points, one quarter of one percent, closing at 5,225.48. Also on light volume of 1,602,000,000 shares. And record number two, there you see it, the, the S&P up by four one-hundredths of one percent, less than one point, but up nonetheless at 2,181.74. Well, the following story comes under the guidelines of it really is true. You can't make this stuff up. Take a look at that. That is what is called a Whopperito. That is, in fact, a combination of a regular Whopper inside a flour tortilla with queso sauce instead of ketchup, mustard, or mayo. It is on the Burger King menu as of next Monday. It will be on the menu for three to four months, at which point they'll decide if it's been successful and whether they'll keep it. $2.99 is all that it costs. I tried to find out exactly how many calories are in the Whopperito, but... Apparently, right now, that information is not available. Again, uh, Scott Haley, this will be available next Monday, so I expect you to get in line early to take advantage of the Whopperito. I'm open to it because of the queso. That yeah. kind of sounds good to me. I don't think you want to know the calories. No, no, Richard, you know. Frankly, yeah. <laughs> so late news on Disney, though. Yes, also about as dull as the weather. They did announce their earnings after the market closed today. They were a penny better than Wall Street expectations. The stock reacted just a little bit, so we'll see what it does tomorrow. But their theme parks did very well, and their movies particularly did well during the quarter. They sure did. All right, Richard, thank you so much.